Hey, what is going on, guys? It is your boy D1 Snipes here. Today, what we're going to be talking about is uh, how to cheese the Templar after patch. Um, this is usually not my thing. I uh, don't do a lot of this, even with Destiny. But my raid group uh, last night, <clears throat> knowing that there was a patch, decided that we would try something uh, very similar to cheesing the Oracles. Um, to be completely honest, uh, we thought about trying uh, everyone up top so that I could cleanse everyone. Uh, normally, I do not run the relic, so if you see some new moves out of me, uh, that's why. Uh, this surprisingly worked the second time that we did it. Uh, the first time that we did it, actually, we ended up uh, getting marked by the oracles, and that's how we ended up wiping. Uh, didn't really surprise me much. But then we talked about it a little bit and decided that this was the best way to do it. So, <clears throat> as you can see, everyone is up there in position to shoot oracles. That's what I was waiting on, and we were also talking about what we were going to do. So what you're going to do with the relic is uh, you're going to chill back by the actual spawns of the enemies. Now, uh, your responsibility as the relic holder is to get these two back oracles. Uh, as you can see, my teammates were trying to uh, help me out, and uh, they did a pretty good job of keeping the oracles uh, at bay. And all you really do is you're the only guy. Uh, I almost die a couple times, so your relic holder has got to be very, very careful. Uh, but for the most part, this is the easiest way to do it, guys. Uh, all they did was... Uh, use snipers uh, right here I accidentally dropped the Oracle um, or not the Oracle but the relic what I was trying to do was what I was gonna do is uh, drop the relic and try to shoot off a couple rockets maybe before uh, <clears throat> you, you know what happens the dark screen comes your whole party wipes but what I was trying to do is help my team put damage because the last time uh, we were getting pretty close to uh, him being enraged and the minotaurs coming out and shit would have went downhill really really quick so what I decided to do was I tried to put on a little extra damage but <clears throat> after we almost wiped and uh, seeing as how we were really close the time before uh, we decided just to play it safe um, we did this with three level 30s and three level 29s uh, I was a 30 running the relic um, we actually had one of our level 30s die a couple minutes into this so we really did this with five guys and three of them being level 29s so this is very very doable this is by far the easiest way I think as long as you have an experienced or uh, skilled player running the relic and staying back towards these spawns if you start running out where the Templar is he's gonna kill you uh, that's really your main concern though the couple times that I died were uh, when the relic <clears throat> or when I took the relic a little too close to him uh, when I got a little bit uh, greedy trying to kill these harpies trying to get my uh... yeah as you can see I'm, I'm definitely a noob when it comes to the relic but I just started using it in the last couple weeks and I love it uh, started running into the portals <clears throat> that kind of stuff sorry my throat's kind of uh, kind of scratchy this morning but uh, as you can see this is a pretty effective strategy um, I mean it's not near pushing them off but uh, we never get marked um, which is what you have to do that's your main concern is if you guys get marked you're wiping there's no way that everyone can get down there and cleanse fast enough and this is on hard mode by the way uh, but there's no way that you can get down there and get cleansed fast enough and then set up in a different position uh, if you've got a good relic guy who's confident in his ability this is by far the easiest way to do it as you can see uh, you just play it smart um, get the back oracles uh, you have to trust your team um, one thing that really helped us was uh, I communicate really well in games that any game that I play and uh, I really think that 
me and my team communicating oracles and me telling them when I was going to put his shield down uh, so that they could get their other guns ready because um, <clears throat> this strategy honestly isn't for the faint hearted because <clears throat> because if you think about it um, they're not only shooting the Templar but they also have to worry about uh, four or five different oracle spawns which is very difficult to do especially with the shields too um, so as you can see um, this only takes about 10 minutes uh, this isn't this isn't like super effective uh, two minute wipe uh, this isn't uh, we, we probably could have done this in under five minutes had we had all level 30s and we had uh, didn't have our sixth guy go down um, it also may have gone a little bit quicker had I been a more experienced relic user um, like I said <clears throat> I don't normally use the relic I uh, I, I never really used the relic uh, before last week actually it was when I very first started it um, super easy to use I mean I won't say it's super easy to use uh, but there are a lot of different little strategies uh, for movement and that sort of thing that can really really help you out um, jumping up and uh, using the slam thing is by far the most powerful uh, using your uh, the special, the super, which is the left and right bumper, that's what shoots the uh, shoots the super and takes down the shields. Uh, I, you'd be surprised um, at how many people don't know how to run the relic, just at all, just don't even know the buttons, just don't even care to use it. Um, and that's exactly how I was. I I didn't use it in the normal raid, and I just never really found the desire to run it because I was always I was really good at uh, supporting the um, the relic holder. So, like when we would get teleported for the Atheon fight, I would always be shooting rockets and shooting oracles to help out the relic guy. And I just didn't really, I didn't think it was for me. But after after running it uh, on this part specifically, I I'm not really sure how I ended up doing this. Mainly because I think it was mostly mine and another guy's idea but he was a level 29 at the time or he probably would have done it but I ran it as a 30 I think I did a pretty good job um, as you can see we do it in about eight and a half minutes which I well maybe even less than that actually about seven minutes is what we did it in um, so I hope you guys learned something I hope you get thank you guys for watching uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one if you want to see me do more stuff like this maybe uh, see if we can find some new cheese uh, cheese is I guess you want to say for the new raid let me know my group is uh, pretty good at it um, we've been doing this for a long time together so again thank you guys for watching